How bees convert flower nectar into honey? This is all thanks to our industrious worker bees, that a natural sweatener has come into existence. Forager bees are those who leave their hives to travel long distances to search for nectar. Research observes, they can reach as far as 6 miles per foraging flight to visit about 100 flowers each trip. In order to collect this sugary fluid, they suck it up using their straw-like proboscis, and store it on their expandable stomach called honey sac, where the enzyme called invertase is waving, ready to work out with the breaking down of nectar's complex sugar into more simple sugars, a form that is less prone to crystallization. When honey sac is full enough, that's when the collected nectars weigh half of its body mass, let's say a single bee weighs around 100 mg then she can lift around 50 mg to 70 mg of nectar. This busy bee loaded with nectar honey sac is now ready to head back to the hive to regurgitate the partially transformed nectar onto the house bee or young bee. The latter chews it with special enzyme coming from her mouth for about half an hour. Each successive handing of nectar from individual to individual gradually reduces its moisture content, from being in the humidity level of 80% when it was collected until it is turned to partially converted nectar with moisture content at around 20%. They're not yet done, as they still have to expedite the evaporation process to attain the healthiest honey, believed to be at 17% to 18% moisture content, as it's the key parameter to determine the stability of honey against fermentation. The last worker bee will then regurgitate the nectar into the hexagonal prism cells of honeycomb, she and with the other bees will work with fanning air in and out to finally ripen the nectar into honey, at this stage, the fully processed nectar is now ready for capping, once the individual cell is full, a fresh beeswax will seal the combs filled with fully converted honey stored for later consumption.